Okay, so welcome to the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria. I'm Micah Marsh and I'm the Art Rental and Sales Consultant at the Art Gallery. And this is our Summer Small Work Show. Uh, twice a year the Art Gallery um, has two small work shows and it's an opportunity for the artists who participate in the Art Rental Program to show smaller work because usually most of these artists were rather large. Um, as you can see, we have over 250 works that have been juried in this year, and that means a, quite a wide cross section of different types of media. Um, everything from works on canvas, whether it's done on oil or in acrylic, to works under glass. That would be, you know. Uh, watercolor or collage works as well and photographic works as well. So um, the price is very affordable which means that for anyone who's looking to start collecting original pieces they range between two to four hundred dollars per piece um, and as a result it's is a very popular show. During the course of the show, we have another added feature, which is really exciting. We have invited three artists every Friday afternoon to meet um, members of the art gallery, for example, or just people who are visiting. When they drop by, they'll find three artists are here to articulate their work and describe a bit, you know, what their process is. So. Um, Let's have a look and I can introduce you to some of the artists. Oh. So as I mentioned, during the course of the show we've had a meet and greet Friday afternoon and I'm just going to point out some of the artists' work who has been part of the meet and greet. Um, we can start with Nancy Slap's work. She has done a series of shoes juxtaposed with insects and she's a wonderful illustrator and uh, this is one of her pieces. Just below that is Victoria Edgar, who is a printmaker, and she has also been present to, um, to meet the public. And just scanning across the wall, Lyle Schultz, a um, very contemporary artist, who, from what I hear, is preparing for another show um, very soon, but we're very happy to have one of his pieces this year. And moving to the right, Kathleen Lane, who is actually here today, you'll be chatting with her in a while. She works in various mediums, and this year she has submitted her work in pastel, a figurative piece. Lenny Devine, another well-known Victoria-based artist, who happened to be here last week, sorry folks, uh, a little late. But, um, she is also quite popular and uh, also been very successful in selling her pieces in this year's show. Adele Andrew, a very contemporary artist, works in acrylic and uses a lot of texturing gels to build up her surface. Um, beautiful, beautiful pieces for a contemporary stage. Jim McFarland. I'm a local artist. I have a couple of works here in the Small Works show for the Art Gallery. Um, I have only one for me, the other two have already sold. Most of my paintings are uh, done on plein air, in, in acrylics, as these ones are. So that means painting outdoors on site. So I have done a lot of landscapes from Greater Victoria, um, lots of material, it's a, it's a beautiful place to, to be, um, so the last few weeks you would have found me out on the, the, the beach in Gordon Head or at the marinas in, in Oak Bay or, or uh, in this case in one of the parks in, in Saanich. Most of them are relatively small paintings in the physically to paint outdoors you need to pack things around. Uh, but I also paint in the studio, not so often using photo references. Usually in the studio, uh, I'm painting from my memory. 
So I may have to start a work outdoors, but I finish it for my memory. And, and my memory is actually pretty good. <laughs> so that's it. But I also paint oh, lots of portraits, still lives, most of anything that stands still. I enjoy painting. It tends to be close to realistic. I think most people would call the style more impressionistic than realistic. Uh, my name is Kathleen Lane. I've uh, entered in this small work show. I have my work in the art rental at the art gallery here. And uh, it's been it's very good to have a chance to have your work here. Uh, so many great artists. It's a really good show. And my work, this, this is one of my work. I'm an abstract painter in oil or acrylic. Yeah, but this, and I also draw figurative work, uh, mixed media with. Uh, Acrylic, sometimes acrylic paint and charcoal and Conte crayon, sometimes even spray paint. I work at the uh, Vancouver Island School of Art and uh, do a drop in drawing and painting there. So I always have a chance to work with the model. And, uh, so my name is Frances Baskerville. I've been an artist here in Victoria for the last uh, 10, 12 years, since graduating from the Victoria College of Art. Um, I paint in different styles, but mostly I love to paint the figure. Uh, I like to uh, paint the figure in relationships or, or singly. Um, I like to have lots of texture in my work. Uh, I like to suggest the, the, the broken nature of life. That, uh, on the one hand, there's, there's a lot of harmony and beauty in the world, but there's also a lot of um, disruption and pain. So I, I feel a conflict between, on the one hand, being drawn to an image that I love and wanting to recreate it, but I also feel obliged and, and I want to suggest the, the other side of the whole as well. The color is important to me, uh, but more, um, I think I'm more uh, in I'm, I'm not really a colorist. I'm more a person who enjoys the blind and brush strokes. I, I, I really enjoy uh, intensity and dark and light, but it doesn't really matter to me which colors I use. It's mostly to create uh, dark and light that I really like. So I could be using a lot of the same color. One like our shades of browns or shades of greens as I'm doing here. Um, and I think that somewhere I'll go in the future. I'll probably go towards a real love of color per se. But, but right now I'm, I'm more interested in, in the figure itself and the contrast in, in light and dark. I like the way it just fades off. Yeah. My name is Greg Evans. I'm a collage artist. I have two of my pieces here in the small work show at the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria. Um, one of them is right here beside me. I've been doing collage art since 1971. Uh, all the other people had interesting things on their walls and I wanted something that was different than everyone else's so I started making my own and just never stopped. I go through a lot of National Geographic so instead of watching the Knowledge Network I go through the National Geographic, rip out pieces and read other pieces and learn lots and make lots of art too. Um, basically I'm just depicting a parallel possible world that we don't get to see unless I illustrate it.